which is back harder. That's why I grew up in Harlem. Not so. if the country's at stake, right? He, won. he became president of the United States. Uh, with that same personality. I, I don't think that, you know, he, listen, I think it's worse with Biden calling MAGA. Biden's anger and vitriol and hatred for MAGA is far more worse than President Trump's individual battles with someone who crosses him. In this round, here's Quanell X. Charles, a Fox News host and contributor, but more than contributor, host of his own show, Charles Payne seriously criticized President Biden because of what he accused half of the American voters to be. He said that those who support MAGA and Donald Trump, he despises those voters. But Donald Trump is a man that causes a whole lot of vitriol from a lot of people because that's what he spews. But Donald Trump has never ever said anything to where those who support Biden, he hates all of them. That's not something the sitting president of the United States should ever say about anyone that's voting in this country. Hillary Clinton tried that same playbook against President Trump. It did not work. But Charles Payne is correct. I don't know enough about Mr. Payne to say I like him or don't like him. But in the analysis that he made and the analogy that he used in criticizing President Biden for criticizing half of the voting bloc that voted for Donald Trump, the MAGA supporters, saying that they are despised by him, that's a mistake. President Biden's job as a sitting president is to convince those voters he's not what they've been lied to about who and what he is. His job is to well inform if they've been ill informed. His job is to change them and unite them with the country. That's what the leader of the quote unquote free world should do. But to come out before an election and just say half of the voters who voted for Donald Trump in the last election that I ran against Mr. Trump, they are despised by me. To speak, follow them in any kind of way is a mistake because if he needs the independent vote, if he needs votes that are somewhat democratically conservative, your duty is to pull them all together as many as you can, but not openly condemn them like this. You are an absolute moving target. Just on the last show, you were, you were condemning Tim Scott for making a comment about how much he loved Trump after Donald Trump suggested that Tim Scott hates Nikki Haley. This week on the campaign trail, Donald Trump has said every Republican that supports Nikki Haley needs to get thrown out of the party. You're talking about a man that demonizes everyone that has run against him, both inside and outside of his party, in the most horrifying terms in Donald Trump. And yet you're criticizing, and there is plenty of reason to be critical of Joe Biden, right? He's been touting his economy in the gangbuster stock market, but the truth is, 93% of the wealth in the stock market is owned by the top 10% of Americans, right? There is very little of the benefit of the Biden economy trickling down to the working everyday man. In fact, it's, the inflation is out of control, cost of living is out of control, rent has skyrocketed. Biden has done an awful job. But for you to focus on Biden's political criticism, of course, just like we, we have reduced this country to two old ass men who say and, you know, for, tweet whatever horrible thing they can think of. In fact, I don't think it. I think Trump has his own bad, mean tweets. I don't even think Biden is responsible for the ugly things that he's spewing on Twitter. I think he's too busy sundowning and losing his damn mind. And it's some young Democrat kid typing up the crap. But this is everyone. This but is what politics are now. Move for the sitting president to say half of the voters. He's trying to win an election against him. He despises them. To convince. That's not the way you win an election. Do you agree with that? Well, it depends, right? Because, you know, Donald Trump condemned liberals in, in no uncertain terms when he beat Hillary Clinton, right? Now, Hillary Clinton referred to people as deplorables, and that got a lot of traction, a lot of news. And, and didn't it helped help her. him lose. Well, but, but his condemnation helped him win. And it really depends, because right now, what the Biden campaign is trying to do is it's trying to convince America that, one, Trump is a criminal and shouldn't be allowed on the ballot, and two, everyone that supports Donald Trump is either stupid, gullible, or a criminal. That's the goal, because Biden can't win this election unless he either prohibits Donald Trump from being on the ballot or can brainwash America into thinking that Donald Trump is the end of times. Now, do I think Trump will be a good president? Hell no. Nor do I think Biden will be. 
But I think it's absurd. To, and it's just it's just conservative but pundits in Mr. like Payne pointing the finger across the table and saying, "Oh my God, I can't believe Biden did that. Why isn't he talking about Trump?" But wait a minute. Why isn't he saying anything because about Fox Trump? Because Fox News don't talk about Trump like but, that. But, yo, they do. The same way CNN don't talk about Biden like that. The same way MSNBC don't talk about Biden like that. All of these corporate news giants have picked a side. Let's be honest. We cannot truly find a fair and independent news source that has no dog in the race when it comes to either candidate, in my opinion. But Mr. Payne uh, had hold a on, small hold analysis. On, hold though. on. I got to stride on. Normally, I do not cut you off. You're the interrupter. But I got to stridently disagree with you right here, right now. Go I got to stridently disagree. If you want to find fair, accurate discussions that aren't biased towards one candidate or another, the only thing you got to do is come to Fox Soul and turn in the face off. Because you know but what? That I hate happens. Biden. I hate Trump. And I but, thought you hated him. I know Charles, you've got a MAGA hat over there. Charles, but I thought you hated Charles, them both with me. But it's true that they can get the facts here. Put your MAGA hat on. Only when you're not speaking. Put, put your MAGA so hat on. I, I agree. If you come listen to me, you're going to get the raw adulterated truth. Oh, my but God. But Mr. Payne well, weren't you did just make telling a America valid point that women that are as mistake oppressed mistake here as they are in president. Iran? To make that analogy when he's pending now at a a second rematch with Donald Trump. And I think Donald Trump should stop talking about Nikki Haley. Oh, right. He should speak about Biden. Hey, Leave Haley alone. That race is over with. Focus on the president because that's who you're really going to be fighting against to become president of the United States of America. What Donald Trump needs to do is try to seize the ideological high ground because he spent his whole presidency mean tweeting on Twitter. Right? No matter how he well the economy was up, doing, no matter how well his criminal justice past. reform, how did he grow up? He's like 97 I, no, I years old. And, 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 and what's Biden, 103? No. When I say grow up, I don't mean chronologically grow up. I mean grow up mentally, psychologically, and spiritually and be a better man. Well, that's man. not going to happen. And I agree. I don't think it's going to happen either. The truth is. Because if you watch what, his behavior now, what Trump Donald needs Trump to still talk about is how Biden won has lost his damn mind. There was some audio from earlier today where he just rambling on like he didn't even speak English. He's, he's clearly had some cognitive decline. Of course, so is Trump with him talking, referring to Nikki Haley, talking about Nancy Pelosi. They're both too damn old to be president. I don't think but, there'll be a debate. Uh, I, I don't think. I, I don't think well, there's going to be one I, debate I think, between I think Biden's going to say, oh, no, he's a criminal. I don't have to debate him. Because you know, they, and last time they had them all hamped up on something, right? Because all of a sudden, Biden seemed to know what the hell was going on. I don't think there's enough drugs on the planet that Biden can be coherent for two hours well, anymore. Can, well, you can share some of yours with him. Hey, share some of my, 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 my smart drugs. Mm. I don't need those for you because you're easy. You, like to chew you, on. you are easy, mm. right? Because all them, you are, whatever. Dope drinks oh, you like to drink. My, my dope, dope fiend Adam. You look at him, he high as hell now. 